happy, happy new year to you guys. Uh, this is Sam Okunola checking in with you guys. This is the first time I'll be talking to you guys this year, 2019. Um, so I, feel, I figure the best way to start, because a lot of you guys might be having questions with nutrition, is going to be to bring you guys along today on a full day of eating. Uh, so in case you guys don't know, I'm in contest prep right now. And uh, <laughs> it's not rough yet. So my food is still relatively high. And, uh, you know, I just thought figure, you know, in case you guys might have any questions or in terms of nutrition, you see at least have an idea of what I typically eat on a day-to-day basis. So as I go along, uh, the app that I'll be using, uh, that I've always been using, is called My Macros. So those are my number up top. Uh, my number is going to be 290 grams of carbs, 55 grams of fat, 280 grams of protein to consume for the day. Uh, so I just got off work. Uh, I'm actually heading to go get my hair cut right now. Looking kind of bummy. So today's vlog is going to be like, uh, it's going to be a lifestyle vlog. So it's going to be all over the place for you guys just to bring you guys along to see what I do on a day to day basis. And uh, what I'm going to do, what I did first today, uh, it's around... 1.30 right now, so I started my day like around 7 o'clock this morning. It's a Saturday. Um, I went to work. Yes, sometimes I do work on the weekends. I went to work, um, got off. I was going to do some uh, client check-ins. As, I mean, as far as the ones that I already checked in already, I've gotten those out of the way. I still have quite a bit uh, coming in for the rest of the day. Um, so today, for you to have a successful cut, successful diet, you need to be uh, aware that you need to plan better. That's just the way it is. There's no way around that. You need to plan better. And today, I will be going later to celebrate one of our friends' uh, 30th birthday at Top Golf around the San Luis area. It's a pretty awesome place. You've been to Top Golf. It's always a good time. And I know there's going to be a lot of foods that I'm not going to be um, able to track properly. They are going to be. Um, offer it there and I want to socialize so because I am aware of this ahead of time so naturally the plan better so what I've had today in the b-roll I just rolled earlier uh, coffee apple and two scoops of protein in case you don't know um, one of the things that's hard for you to get a hold of or to to hit when you never you eat or you go out is gonna be protein sources protein is very hard to, uh, to hit carbs super easy fat way too easy so what I've done to mitigate that, to make sure I'm in the right spot, is I decrease a lot of my fat content, fat intake for the rest of the day uh, to make sure I have a lot of room uh, to indulge a little bit later. And I'm gonna, you know, decrease my carb a little bit. Protein is gonna go up, up a lot. So uh, a lot of food I'm gonna be consuming are gonna be like, you know, clean, uh, not a lot of trace macros in terms of like, you know, additional fat, all carbs, uh, chicken, egg whites, you guys are gonna see that. So right now I'm about to get my hair cut and I'll just bring you guys along the rest of the way. Stay tuned. Yo, what's going on? So we just pulled up to the gym and um, sipping on that C4 orange slice real quick. Um, no, I do not track pre-workout. Uh, there's no need for me to do that um, just because the carry is just so minimal. I mean, it won't really count, especially being this early in the contest prep. So uh, while I was in the car and let that kick in a little bit, I thought I'd hop on here real quick and just chat. Um, so. In terms of, so today, like I said earlier, uh, we are, I'm, I'm going out, uh, let me turn this on real quick. Uh, so I'm going out later with, uh, with friends. Sounds like my eye real quick. Let me find a sweet spot. There we go. So like I said, so we are going out later on today uh, to uh, celebrate a friend's 30th birthday. And one of the things, one of the strategies that I do um, before I head out is to look up uh, wherever we're going I'll look up the nutrition facts uh, for the food. If I cannot find it, I'll go on uh, My Macros, which is the app that I use. I go on there and I look for something similar or close to that. Then this is very crucial, right? You want to overestimate. Meaning if the, let's say a, a grilled chicken sandwich, for instance, uh, comes down to 15 grams of fat, uh, 35, 36 grams of uh, carbs and, you know, 28 grams of protein. You always want to overestimate, you know, add every 5 or 10 grams um, of macros on top of those macros that you selected uh, because 
again, you're not making it yourself, so you don't know the um, the adequate amount that goes into each food and the preparation of it. So you want to do that. Um, you want to stay accountable, and what that helps you do. I mean, yes. If you overestimate, you still have that. You created a decent deficit for yourself for the day, which will help you in the long run. Uh, so that's one of the tricks of the things that I do. Uh, if I know I'm going out, yes. A lot of times, you're not going to have the luxury of knowing ahead of time. But if you do know ahead of time that you're going to be going out, make sure you plan ahead. Let's go get lifted. what's going on so just finished training arms um, the video that you guys are gonna see just a little clip so um, of what I did today and I'll, I'll put a description down just in case you guys want to do it so just in case I was, a lot of times when you like running short of time I uh, just want to get in get out get a good pump so things like German uh, volume training test the 10 uh, superset biceps and arms together those typically can give you a good pump especially with like a small muscle groups like arms um, it was effective I got a good pump. I'm gonna skip cardio just because I'm running below on time. But before that, so we got two scoops of cinnamon swirl, say you core going down here, and we have a large apple that we're gonna pair that together. Already logged everything in. At the end of the day, I'm gonna show you guys what I logged in for the rest of the day, what I have left. If I have a micro macros, if I did, if I do not, and if I don't, what to do. If if I did or over, you know, overindulge, I'll tell you guys what to do. So you guys are learning a little bit as we go along. Uh, yeah, see you when we get home, shower, and head out. Yo, what's going on? So I just want to wrap up this video real quick. Um, so yesterday, um, I did not record the rest of the night just because, you know, we're having a good time and just want to carry a camera around. I caught a little clip of what I ate, um, some activities and stuff like that. So um, just to recap, the little bit was awesome. Um, I'm looking at my uh, numbers right here. Um, so for yesterday, so we guys can see, so yes, those were my numbers yesterday, and that's what I had left from yesterday, it's macros. Um, so I under ate yesterday, which is not a bad thing. Um, I overestimated, so I was short on protein, 48 grams short, 108 grams are short, and 25 grams fat short on this. But in reality is, um, I am not physically in the kitchen um, cooking all this food with these people. Um, so it's always in your best interest to over, I mean, overestimate. Uh, this is a little bit, you know, outside the realm of, you know, too much over uh, guesstimation, but I'm totally fine right that. Um, so I mentioned uh, previously that uh, there are times where you're not gonna be uh, hitting your macros if you go out to eat. I mean, there's times where you're gonna be going for a solely caloric uh, goal Keeping in mind you want to hit a protein goal and the rest of it is just 
you aim it and target it, a protein goal. A uh, fat 25, fat is always, you know, always aggressively just on fat just because you don't know what to cook. I mean, the chicken, you know, put oil on the pan, you know, those you just always want to overestimate. Um, but, you know, all in all, uh, you can go out, have a good time with friends, uh, indulge a little bit, uh, don't stress it. Yes, I would like to limit the amount of time that I do go out to eat, uh, the closer I get to competition just because I want, to, I want to be as you know predictive as possible and by the only way I can do that is knowing exactly what goes into my food uh, so hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy um, what you see I think yesterday was a good you know um, example to show you can go out and have a good time with your friends and not overstress your nutrition and not overdo your nutrition um, if you plan ahead um, so uh, hopefully that you know answers some of the questions you just might be curious about uh, in terms of nutrition. What do you do when you go out? Um, if you need uh, more, you know, detail as far as what I do, um, I do offer coaching, one-on-one coaching. If you're interested, my email, my website is gonna be at the bottom. Uh, comment, subscribe, um, like the video, share with your friends. The more traffic that we can give to this video, the more I'm inclined to put it out there. I'm always saying that. But I feel like I need to say that and not to know that I'm not above, you know, asking for you guys to subscribe and share the video. I want to provide as much content as possible for you guys also. So uh, let me know whatever topic you guys want me to cover. Uh, the Bears are playing today. So they're playing right now, actually. I just want to wrap this video. So go Bears. Uh, to my client, Devin, <laughs> bear down. Fuck the Eagles. I'm kidding. I still love you. Take it easy, guys. Peace.